had the uh, Altex Pro regular on my Sony A7R4 with my 1635 2.8 and a little bit later on oh and I also had my tripod adapter so this is the tripod kit that I had on that way I could take it with me kayaking and not get it on the way but Dan wants to take some time-lapse pictures and so knowing that I brought our data and tripod kit as well so we're going to take it off of the regular pro kit with the tripod and we're going to use the data and tripod setup so he's going to use the power source in this case solar since we're so far off the grid and he's going to be powering the camera over a long period of time on a tripod mount so that we can do a time lapse of the icebergs floating around the bay. And so this cover with the tripod adapter, yeah, as you can see, you can show that it's, you know, it's elastic. Yeah, and that's how you get the camera on and off. I normally, and I'll show you in a minute, so we're going to use now the data and tripod cover. So I brought one with me. So we'll have an opening for the tripod on the bottom and then a data port on the side. So we're gonna do that. It has to catch the right teeth, the, the right bite on the bracket itself. So that is set to go. So the way the cable adapter works is that it's one of our patented components. It has, in essence, three pieces to it. And it has a plug that goes inside of the cable adapter, okay? The cable will go through it. And the plug hugs it. And then the cable adapter will compress it as you thread it. And as you thread it, and that compression occurs, it creates the watertight, waterproof seal. Yeah, now, nice. one of the things that we recommend is that you use our lubricant because what you want to do is maintain the shape of the plug. So what happens is, once the cable is inside, and you start to compress it, it compresses enough that sometimes the plug will start deforming like this. So if it's not lubed, this will happen on the inside and that compromises the seal. And so we also make available this lubricant that I brought and we'll lubricate the plug so that it slides and that way as I'm threading and it creates the pressure, it will stay in place, hold its shape, and create a better seal. Okay? Like this. Oops, sorry, opposite. So this require a little uh, ahead of thinking here because I'm going to have to think about where the cables are going to be. So this cable is going to be on the outside connected to the power source. This part will eventually provide the seal. This part will be on the inside. So now the plug goes onto the cable. Like that. And then the other end, if you don't mind giving me a hand there and sliding it facing this way. So that's conical and it fits right onto the... Exactly. So it's engineered to work in combination and conjunction with each other. And so what this guy is now doing is it is tightening on the inside. And sometimes you just kind of have to go like one step forward, two steps back, or two steps forward, one step back. And you can feel the lube sort of working to create that seal so that it's not you see how it's conforming and staying and maintaining its shape 
So if I go too far, and you can use your fingers to kind of... And I could put more lube if I needed to. There. So now that we have the cable adapter, we can feed it through the cover. And this will connect with the camera. Now we might as well get the rear glass on with the tripod mount. So that bracket adds, just makes it a little easier to see the viewfinder and everything, right? It just That's exactly right. Rigidity. So the rear glass was designed, it's actually an improvement, it's a second generation rear glass we've designed. And what the bracket does is that it gives you enough flexibility to get your fingers behind still use the, all the functional controls. So it also allows you to pivot it. So if you need to move it out of the way, let's say you're using this button a lot, you can. And then you, with your fingers, you can just move it out of the way so that as you're using these buttons or even the LCD, you can do that as well. So it not only gives you complete visibility of both the viewfinder and the LCD, but it also gives you control mm -hmm. behind the port. And now we're gonna pull it over. So here, I'll start with the uh, tripod. And just like all of our ports, you always want the O-ring, which is designed right onto the cover, to be right around the edge. And so you pull it away until it's nice and even around the edge of whatever seal you're creating. And then you take the washer. You think of this as a male on the O-ring and the washer has a female opening, so that goes against it like that. And then the nut catches the thread, creates the compression, presses them against each other, and creates the seal. So now that port is sealed. We'll work on the cable adapter. work in a similar way. I open the nut and the washer. I get the lip of the cover around the rim of the Altex part. Then I get the washer and the nut to catch. And the nice thing is that here, both seals are independent of each other. So one of the very important things, and again, this is true for everything, for all the seals, you don't want to hold the camera and tighten it, right? Because that gives you no leverage. What you want to do is hold the inner part of the Altex with one hand through the cover. And then with your other hand, not only are you creating leverage, but you feel it gives you tactile feedback of how tight the seal is, how good the thread is, and so it, it's like a tomato sauce jar. If it's not catching, you feel it even with your eyes closed. And it's the same principle here. It gives you feedback of how good the seal is. So it's the same thing with my tripod adapter. I would hold on one part and tighten with the other hand so that one hand is feeling the other. And then it would be the same thing for my front port. So once I get my front threads onto the lens, on this component, I'm not going to put much pressure at all because all I'm doing is securing the front port to the lens, but I don't need to tighten it. Yeah. It just needs to be on there. But once I take the washer and the nut off. 
and I pull the cover to function as the o-ring that it is over the optical glass port and I use the rim of the Altex part to line it up like I said to where it's very even I'm now going to hold it here with one hand and then the washer and then the nut will catch and now I can put pressure because I'm putting pressure on the seal mm -hmm. and not on the lens yeah. and that's very important and again I'm getting feedback from my left hand to my right hand that the thread is smooth, that the seal is working, and I'm good to go. And I'm now gonna do the same thing on the back. So I'll pull it around the back. Use the Altex part as my guide. Get it nice and even so that it's evenly distributed for the pressure we'll put on it later to create the best seal since it's potentially going to be underwater. Because if you are just doing it for rain or mist or condensation, you know, you don't have to get your seal very tight at all. In fact, it's already somewhat airtight. So you could leave this in the rain. For 24 hours and not worry about it but if you're going underwater obviously your seals are going to have to be pressured and this is actually another benefit if you will of being able to control the seal yourself because i can control how good or how strong the seal is going to be a lot of housings rely on pressure for the seal to work or they have pumps or they have other mechanisms and so if you're using for example a dive housing in a pool your seal may be awful yeah. because you're not at pressure and so the the flexibility of the Altex system pun intended uh, extends beyond just the universality of the cameras and the controls and the lenses and all that but it also fits multiple uses so whether again you're using different ports or using different attachments, mounting it onto a tripod, and now you've got a tetherable, tripod mountable, waterproof solution that you can use in virtually any environment. And if you spot an orca while you're doing it and you need to take it to go, you can just unplug it. And you know, most cables are waterproof or you can just tuck it inside and off you go when you're ready to go. Awesome.